Alright, I shot this video in 4K ultra high def, so hopefully it's nice and crispy and clear for you. You know, I was going back through some of my old videos, and man, I'll tell you how messed up my backyard was just two years ago, putting in those solar panel arrays and rearranging the pergola solar panels. Man, it was a lot of work with these garden ponds and banana trees and you know, just a little bit of tranquility back here. What I want to show you is a couple of things I did with my micro solar generator system back here. As you may know, I put a poly woofer in that subwoofer down there on the bottom. And what I'm doing here is I've got my 180 watt Ames pure sine wave inverter hooked up with my kilowatt meter. It's drawing about 80 or so watts, 90 watts, 60 hertz. And what I did is I made a new power cord harness for a 12-volt power socket. And was, all I did was had some of those banana plugs because this has banana plug inputs on there and put some heat shrink over it. Man, it was easy to make. And it's a heavy-duty, probably about a 14-gauge cable going into the power socket there. And I'm just checking for hot spots. You know, it's by feeling it with about a 100-watt draw going through there probably about 10 amps or so just under 10 amps but what I found is the fan on this unit came on and it's blowing down so I actually when I had this thing installed in the solar generator on the right it was blowing hot air down and I thought it blew air out the top and now that I have the 300 watt Ames pure sine wave inverter in the solar generator here I need to check that because <laughs> I've designed this thing for the air to blow off the top but hmm let's take a look at that I may have to do some re-engineering on this deal but it's working fabulous this 32 inch Samsung old school plasma with over the air high definition is just knock your socks off picture but what I need to get is a post wall mount and I've got one in my Amazon uh, basket that I'll probably order in a little while. There's my elephant ears back there and my 1200 watt array. Everything's looking good. Hey guys, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.